Well, this is going to have to be part one because I know we're not going to get to everything. We're going to get to as much as we can. Thank you. A little bit about how you got to Dallas and why have these cases, civil rights violence, police brutality, why have they been so important to you? Because some people do foreclosure. Some people do get debt free. Some people do personal injuries, which can be very lucrative. Sure. Why these types of cases, which are not necessarily easy, and people can actually threaten your life and your family? Uh, well, I came out of the, uh, Temple University in Philadelphia, law school. Uh, the first job I got out of undergrad was actually working for a cotton firm in Philadelphia. Uh, and I did it because, like I said, I grew up really wanting, wanting to do this kind of work, uh, seeing uh, issues of brutality and lack of the community. Uh, I, what I discovered was that the, 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 the Cochran firm, post the Cochran era, after his, after his passing, as when I joined the firm, had moved away from advocacy on, for the community and was doing a lot of the other commercial litigation, the high volume um, mass towards litigation. Um, and, it, and it gave me a chance, really doing high volume more vehicle cases, to uh, spend a lot of time in the courtroom honing my skills. Um, but it wasn't the kind of work that I wanted to do. That I wanted to do. Um, if you look at the beginning with the, the um, Rodney King case, when I graduated law school, George Zimmerman had just been acquitted for uh, the um, murder of uh, Trayvon Martin. And so, again, it was kind of a reminder that that's, that's why I was going there. It was to, it was to do that work. And obviously, um, you know, our community was still underrepresented. We couldn't get someone. If our lives were so unvaluable that a kid walking home from a corner store uh, was murdered uh, unarmed you know, by a rogue, you know, a thug, if, if, if he was being acquitted, then it was, it was a need for us to continue to press him. Um, and so I started my own firm that focused primarily on this work. Uh, Sean King is a good friend of mine who's a writer and a journalist and activist. He was just beginning to build uh, his brand about around pointing, uh, shining a light on these issues. Uh, but I didn't feel like we had adequate representation in terms of actually actively fighting these cases, uh, going after policies and legislation that would, would actually affect change. Uh, in, in, for the issue of police brutality, and not only that, but in mass incarceration and housing, equity, et cetera, other issues that, that, that are plaguing our community.